Every day in Beijing can be a food festival, but come 2008, it'll be a safer party. So let's get the party started. Just in time for your trip to the Olympics, we sampled four Beijing restaurants. Each specializes in a different regional cuisine. See which part of China speaks to your taste buds. Chinese food. In America, people often think of it as a single cuisine. But Chinese food varies by region, just as it does in America, where a bowl of New Orleans gumbo is very different from a bowl of New England clam chowder. There are eight regional Chinese cuisines, each with distinct differences. But lucky for Olympic visitors, Beijing has them all. Beijingers usually choose between Hunan, Sichuan, Cantonese, Fujian, Shandong, Jiangsu, Anhui, or Zhejiang cuisines. To Westerners, Zhejiang might be one of China's least known cuisines. Right now, I'm in a restaurant in Beijing, but I may as well be a thousand miles away southeast in China's Zhejiang province. This restaurant is called Kong Yiji, and it's trying to evoke the character of the Zhejiang region with these streams and lakes. Unlike other types of Chinese cuisine, food from the Zhejiang region is not spicy. The emphasis is on freshness and seafood. Freshness and authenticity are so important that this restaurant has its ingredients flown in from Zhejiang province every day. The kitchen is simple, spacious, and clean. Zhejiang cuisine is known to be both simple and light in taste but there's one dish they make here that's an acquired taste. It's called chou dofu, or stinky tofu, something you probably won't find on the Olympic menu. The tofu is fermented for several days, which gives it an odor some might describe as foul. Then it's deep fried to stinky perfection. When it's finished, the aroma is almost like rotting vegetables, hence the name stinky tofu. But for those who've acquired the taste, Stinky tofu is the Chinese equivalent of a strong cheese, like gorgonzola, and it's actually very popular. Most of Kong Yiji's dishes, however, are not acquired tastes. They're instantly appealing. Tell us about the dishes. What's here? This dish is used to use the most popular ingredients, the fish oil. But this dish is used to use the most popular ingredients. 把这个鱼加在里面，让它的这个葱葱香啊，充分的渗透到这个鱼里面。这道菜是毛线年糕，是选用绍兴这个水乡那种特产的小的炸蟹，然后配上配上宁波的那种糯米年糕，一起烧制出来的。醉虾，鲜香，味美，它虾里面透着浓郁的酒香。它是生食的菜，这个是生煎包。所谓生煎包呢，就是它包子在煎的之前，它是生的，它所有的成熟的过程都在这个锅子里面进行，所以它最大限度的保留了它馅馅里面的那种肉汁。If you want to try all of these dishes, do what a lot of Chinese people do. When you come for the Olympics, gather a bunch of friends or family and reserve a private dining room. Most big Chinese restaurants have them. Your own private wait staff will put all the food on a lazy Susan. Now you share everything and enjoy the food and ambiance. Kong Yiji's ambiance is lush, but chefs also put a lot of care into the food's appearance. Carrots are hand carved into garnishes, and flowers and vegetables are used to create the appearance of a caterpillar in this pork dish. But it's all part of providing Beijingers and Olympic visitors with an authentic Zhejiang dining experience without leaving the city.